This week in West Virginia, the Herbert Henderson Office of Minority Affairs and Governor Jim Justice presented nearly a quarter of a million dollars in grant funding through the state's new bridge program to help improve health and economic development in underserved communities. We're going to spend $250,000 in Kanawha County and $250,000 in Berkeley and Jefferson counties. It's a pilot to see if we can break or build the bridge that really makes things start to happen. Less than 48 hours after closing the eastbound lanes of the I-64 bridge between St. Albans and Nitro due to an expansion joint failure, the Division of Highways was able to make necessary repairs and reopen the bridge by Saturday morning. And our goal is to keep the public safe and if it requires coming out at 2 in the morning or on Christmas, Thanksgiving, they do what needs to be done and not once have they ever said anything uh, negative about it. They, they do what's needed. February 10th was recognized as West Virginia Library Day, bringing attention to the important role libraries play in communities across the Mountain State. Governor Justice delivered remarks at the West Virginia Association of Counties Annual Conference in Charleston, and February 11th was recognized as West Virginia 211 Day, honoring the program that provides free assistance to a multitude of citizens in need. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.